Hey guys, how's it going? And if you follow streaming culture this week, um, I've actually been following a lot of like videos during my lunch breaks talking about streamers and their current behavior this week. Because obviously you have that um, folder leak from a specific streamer that if you know what I'm talking about, you all know what that situation is. And then you had a couple other ones talking about how um, you know their job is harder than that of a normal everyday person, even though the normal everyday person is kind of struggling more and more as the days go on in this economy. And obviously, most people are pretty sound and would look at that statement and cringe and say, what is it exactly that you are talking about? Because I'm a person uh, who works during the day and then makes these kinds of videos. Um, and let me tell you that this is probably the easiest, most relaxing part of my day, especially since any sort of public um, criticism I take, I can kind of just shrug off my shoulders because at the end of the day, everyone's going to have an opinion. Unlike some of these Twitch streamers who are super fragile, where somebody they really don't know, nor should they care that much about, will read one negative opinion on a comment, uh, like, like one negative opinion out of like a barrage of worship posts about them. And then they'll just absolutely let it ruin their day and make a whole like video series about how you don't understand what it's like to be a streamer. And I get it. They do put effort into their content, especially if they're doing it full time. Like for me, this kind of like thing is just a hobby at this point. It's not a full blown thing. Um, I don't know if it's going to at this point, but as of right now, I usually put a lot of minimal effort into it enough to the point where it's presentable and someone has something to watch, but not really anything spectacular that's going to stand out because it's kind of like any sort of business venture that you've seen. Like any sort of restaurant franchisee, like let's go about McDonald's, whether you uh, know about the um, business tactics of the CEOs and how they messed with the actual guys who founded the restaurants. But the, the point is, is besides all that, they all started somewhere. They had cheeseburgers, French fries, soda, shakes, um, fast food started somewhere. And now look at where fast food is with all these different restaurants um, and different menu items like Taco Bell probably started with one taco or one soft taco. And now they have Mexican pizzas and all this stuff uh, uh, fruitista freezes or you name it. In a sense, everybody makes their first business move and then decides down the line, once they get the ball rolling, uh, how they're going to reinvent it or how they're, how they're going to make it better. I think it's just a healthy way on how to start a business. But um, I digress. Like, let's talk about the people who do this full time for a living and make excessive amounts of money. Um, and you know what? Yeah, to be fair, they do put in a lot of effort into their stuff, but they should because it is their full time thing. They should care about the artwork that is brought out. But even though some of it's not even art anymore, it's just kind of a clown show. And obviously everything that needs to be said about these streamers and their antics over the past couple weeks um, has been said. There's a lot of videos you could go on where people are pointing out the obvious elephants in the room. No disrespect to the people who are doing it. I've watched those videos and I agree. But I just think that everyone should be seeing this now. Yeah, obviously there are going to be a few copers and a few people who um, from all range age groups idolize these people beyond reason and are going to find whatever reason they can to cope because every following base is going to have a stan attached to it. Every artist, every musician, uh, if they get caught in some scandal, there's always going to be some people coping and trying to defend them and will even betray what they originally claimed to be. And it's just the way idol worship happens. But that's not everybody, thankfully. I know a lot of people on the internet like to go on and say like it is. I think that there's a lot of people who are a lot wiser than we like to think. Not everybody is that, um, you know, way. Um, I think that there's a lot of people that it is increasing. Uh, but right now, I think there's quite a few reasonable people out there. And what this is doing, though, is this is causing kind of a shift in streamer culture. Because uh, we used to really not have a lot of problems with these streamers. Now, there were obviously some uh, canneries in the coal mine who were talking about the obvious, um, why are we idolizing these people when... Uh, they don't know who we are, and we don't really know them as a person. 
And uh, whoever your poison of Twitch streamer you drink is, um, just know that, yeah, no, they are just a person behind the camera who has that job. They don't know all their people by name, obviously, but it's these tactics and these things which are causing a lot of people to wake up and kind of be switched off. Now, am I saying that I hope all streamers lose their um, their followers and everything? No, because let's be honest, there's always going to be new people watching their stuff. Every circus needs its bit of clowns, and honestly, seeing some of the antics just kind of makes me realize how screwed on straight my head is for the most part. Just seeing how you could give everything to someone and they still take things for granted. I've seen it throughout my life. It just happens in human nature. There's a lot of ungrateful people out there. And there's a lot of people who could have everything, and then they still find reasons to find um, a way to make themselves the victim in that situation. But the amount of followers or people who watch this content is increasing that are realizing, you know, at the end of the day, you know, things are getting tougher out there in the actual world. And these streamers don't have my better interests and they really just view me as numbers on a screen. A lot of influencers do a lot of people with YouTube channels. I enjoy the content that they make and I appreciate the content that a lot of these guys make, but overall, but overall, I feel like there's this um, this awakening of sorts where it's like we're not saying that we hope the content goes away altogether, but just understand that we are the viewer. We are the people who view these these um, these videos and these streams. And for you to make a clown out of yourself thinking that um, you have to read some mean comments, so that means you are the real unsung hero of the world when there are people who have to worry and fight for their lives every day is just kind of unheard of. Because in human history, we've had a bit of a bliss era, and that bliss era has woken us up, and we're kind of realizing that things are getting pretty real. Now, not everybody's waking up to this scenario that maybe we do need to find a better way to do things. Some people are always going to be in that daze thing and be in denial that there's something wrong. But I think overall, we're longing for that human connection and that human camaraderie again, like authentically. And sometimes that's going to mean not putting these celebrities, streamers, content creators um, on any sort of a pedestal anymore and just understand that they're artists. We can enjoy their art. But um, I think we've allowed them to become more like royal families where they have everything and we are stuck in the slums more and more, kind of starting to starve a little bit out here. And it's just going to take a little bit of uh, knowing who's who to walk away and build something better for the average ordinary person. But um, you catch my drift. I think I've said all I needed to say. But also what I want to say is for those of you who do tend to watch my videos, I know it's not a whole lot. I just want to thank you guys very much because if these videos can reach out and entertain you for 20 minutes out of your day or give you something to think about or give you something to entertain if you guys like any of my sketches or anything, just know that's what it's for because without the viewer, the um, people, the uh, – Men, women who watch this channel and watch all my other works of art, um, even though they're not the most popular thing out there, and it just makes a little dent, it's better than nothing, and you guys make the content worth making. So thank you to everybody who takes part in that kind of stuff. Um, I will see you guys on the next one. Uh, if you're a fan, you know, like obviously, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you can to keep this going. And um, I thank you guys a bunch, and I will never take you guys for granted. Peace out.